Since November 17th of 2022, Iceland's most dangerous volcano known as Katla has been producing an unusually high number of shallow earthquakes, marking an earthquake swarm. And, although the following data has not been independently verified, the reason for these quakes is that for the first time in many years, Katla likely has an ongoing magmatic intrusion. This is best displayed by the ground uplift data, as generally speaking, when magma intrudes into the crust, it uplifts the ground above it. At the OST sensor in the northeast section of Catla's caldera, we are seeing clear-cut signs of this as since November 17th when the earthquake swarms began, the ground has been uplifted by 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches. And this data is not a fluke, as it is persistent unlike other spikes which were false positives, which is best shown by a wider range of data going back 365 days. As a result, if this data is confirmed, Catla now has the best chance of producing a new volcanic eruption since it last erupted in 1918. Catla has consistently been Iceland's most explosive volcano, with eruptions regularly being the same order of magnitude, or one order of magnitude larger than AF Yatya Yokotol's 2010 eruption, which grounded air traffic across much of Europe for a month. Specifically, in the last 1,000 years, 16 similarly sized eruptions occurred at Katla, of which 4 were an order of magnitude larger than Eyjafjallajökull's Yozokotol's 2010 eruption. As a mostly subglacial volcano, whenever Katla erupts, not only does it produce significant quantities of ash, but the superheated products ejected by erupting vents also melt sections of its overlying glacier, creating destructive glacial floods known as Yokulaps. This is a major problem, as the potential area which could be inundated by water is vast, with three distinct at-risk areas. Each area has hundreds to even thousands of people who live or travel through it, along with countless livestock and farmland. If a Yokolop was to occur, which would be quite likely during an eruption, it would take as little as an hour to reach populated areas. Thus, I would recommend that everyone who lives in the at-risk areas make a plan to evacuate if this data is confirmed. 2 centimeters of uplift a day is quite significant, surpassing the rate of ongoing uplift at even the Campi Flegri supervolcano in Italy. Although there is limited data available, I do have some glass half full or slightly good news to present regarding the ongoing situation. The suspected magmatic intrusion does not appear to be broad, but rather a more pinpoint intrusion, most likely representing a below average sized intrusion. Whereas the OS sensor is recording significant uplift, the adjacent ENTC sensor is not recording anything noteworthy. And to the east, both the RFEL and OFEL sensors are recording negligible amounts of uplift. Adding to this evidence is that recent earthquakes have been largely occurring in the northeast section of Catla's caldera, suggesting that if an eruption were to occur, this would represent the most likely spot for vents to erupt. Such an eruption could affect all flanks of the volcano, but would be most likely to produce a severe yokulop in the eastern sector. Thanks for watching, and please stay safe. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Ed Hull for supporting this channel.